What's going on? What's going on, baby? Wonderful day today. Um, we're breathing. We're blessed. I'm Coach Martinez. I'm sitting right here with my brother. Coach Reyes, how you guys doing? Big topic today, Coach. Big yeah. topic today. We're going to talk about reclassification. Yes, sir. That means, for you guys don't understand what that means, that means repeating a grade over again. Man, that's a big subject right there. Yeah, it has been. <laughs> you know, understanding the game is what I want to talk about first. I mean, if you're, if you're a diehard parent, knowing that your child has got the it factor, coach, meaning that, you know, he's going to make it. He's going to get, he's a D1 athlete, you know, because of the portal, because what's going on, break down the reclassification process for an, a traditional athlete, a D1 athlete. You know what, coach, there's diff different matters of why certain students reclassify. I mean, a certain student could be underdeveloped, mm -hmm. meaning he doesn't understand the knowledge of football. It could be with his position specifics, coverages, if he's a lineman, inside run, pass protection, you name it. Mm -hmm. um, it could also be maturity. You know, maturity is a big topic that yeah. that right there alone is is key because it doesn't necessarily have to do with the game of football. Just the maturity mindset yeah. of an individual child. Yeah. Yeah. Is he ready for high school? And that's a big thing, coach, because let's say a student athlete's big, right? He, parents feel like, you know what? He can play at the next mm -hmm. level. He can play at high school, but he's not mature enough yet. And he goes into his freshman year in high school and possibly sophomore year. Yep. And he wasted and burned those two years when he could have been getting bigger, faster, stronger and understanding understanding how to really be a leader on the field when he finally gets to high school. That makes a lot of sense. So I'll give you a little bit of a story. So I coached about seven years of freshman football and yeah. time and time what I've actually seen over the years were these parents that were coming in. Oh, my son's a straight A student, you know, uh, coming yeah. in from middle school. They're yeah. straight A student. But when they get to that high school level, oh, they different. come right after 13 U or whatnot. The mindset is different. They're trying to find themselves. They're hitting yeah. puberty. They're trying to keep up. They're no longer the big kid on the block. No, it's not. And guess yeah. what? It's a culture shock. And a lot of those kids, yeah. I find myself yeah. when I was coaching, having to get on them about their grades to keep them up before they mm -hmm. were cut. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's a different culture shock that you guys, because the maturity level, the mindset of a child is not there yet. Um, when you go from 13U, 12U, and yes, you do have some after 12U going straight into high school. It's insane. They're graduating when they're late 16 or early 17. That's not good, in my opinion, because we've been doing this for a long time. What are the advantages of actually holding back? What what happens? There's many benefits. I mean, to be honest with you, a lot of the kids that we've worked with here, um, their knowledge of the game, even some of the most talented kids, mm -hmm. it's not up to there yet. You know, I, by that I mean like a Division One platform type. I mean, our kids are learning from nutrition, how to run their macros, how to be better football players, soccer, basketball, mm -hmm. baseball, you name it. How to understand the the weight room, what an off season program is how to do Olympic lifts, how to really get better in the classroom, how to academically perform, how to learn their time management. There's several different aspects of things that these kids learn here while reclassifying. At the end of the day, it's college preparatory. It's not just high school. These student athletes are trying to go out to the next level and they're trying to play elite, you know, elite sports. Mm -hmm. So here at TESA, we're trying to prepare them with those tools and really more of an introductory because it's tough. We can't, you know, try and transition within a year or two. And oftentimes that's what happens. You know, we try to catch our boys fifth and sixth grade, have them through that whole middle school experience here with us. Yes, sir. Um, but oftentimes some of these parents are just trying to reclassify right away to get that extra hold back year and nothing wrong with that but at that point you're like you're late in the game you know so if you're young enough and you're like hey coach I'm getting into fifth and sixth grade now is that perfect time for us to have that sit down and say hey what's the next step is your student athlete trying to go to college if so then let's figure out a plan for that person no that makes all the sense in the world and I'll give you an example so let's just say I mean there's a lot of examples to we can bring up the portal what's going on with the college game at yeah. this point nobody's you you got three three NIL. star NIL deals. So you're talking about those are whole top. Those are actually yeah, segments of their own different ball different game. Ball game. Yeah. But we're talking about an eighth grade child. OK, wanting and, and don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that tell me, coach, but my son didn't hold back and we did just fine and all that stuff. There is exceptions. We're not saying that you cannot make it. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. You don't have to go. To, you don't have to hold back to make it a D1. All we're saying is there's advantages of that mentor. Yeah. Maturity levels are a lot better. 
physicality is a lot better. Understanding the positions of the of when it comes to the sport is a lot more better. Um, you know, just keep. And what's wrong with keeping your child home another year? You want to get rid of them out into the real world at 17, coach? Truthfully, coach, it's always been there. Like when I was playing ball, <laughs> it was a super senior. Mm-hmm. You know, it was instead of holding back, you try to fight for that extra senior year. You know, you were a super senior. Super and, seniors. And kids did that back in the day. So it kind of never really was not there. It was always there, set in stone. Um, we're just kind of just brushing up and perfecting it, to be honest with you guys. So. And it makes all the sense in the world. So again, this is not for everybody, but if you're yeah. one of those parents that want your, to give your son and your child an advantage, um, whether that's even for grades, you know, like I just told you, I had freshman kids, incoming freshmen, straight A students since they were in kindergarten, yeah. come to high school with that culture shock and, and falter in their grades. Mm-hmm. So it's tough, guys. Um, keeping your child home is not going to hurt you. Instead of sending him out to the real world at 17, send him out when he's 18, turning 19. Gives you that extra year with your child. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, just understanding the game of what's going on in the portal. You know, I'll give you an example. Colorado, Deion Sanders said it the other day um, that he only took four to six high school students, coach. Yeah. The rest came from the portal. That's insane. It, it, it really is. I was watching um, uh, a, 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 a specialist in the game as far as recruiting saying it was a, a – a sports um, specialist as far as recruiting is saying, he was saying that the Atlanta area had somewhat of 500 D1 scholarships at one point, yeah. and now they were down to 200. Yeah. We're talking about 300 yeah. D1 the scholarships game has cut. If kids are trying to go out and play college sports, if they're 11, 12 years old, like now is the time. You know, if you're looking at your son's physical and you're 13, about to be 14, you're going to high school, and he doesn't look the part, then you better get him in the weight room. You know, you better. Absolutely. Our students here, coach, are working out four days a week, Monday through Thursday. I'm on top of the after school mm-hmm. workouts with Saturday training. So our kids are getting, you know, double days, two a days, you know. So that's something that we take pride in. But most importantly, the development aspect is there. So I want to touch on another subject, academics. Hmm? Okay. Academics and a prep uh, uh, academy like us, right, getting ready for high school and college yeah. even. The atmosphere that we have here is kind of college based. So if your child is coming to an academy here and you gave it a few months and say their grades start faltering, there, it's, again, it's another shock. They got to get used to that. But if they can make it here and start getting molded for that that type of routine that will, goes on into a college D1 program, um, then it gets their mindset a little bit better and they start understanding. You know, it's not a traditional a setting when it comes to an academy like ours, like Tessa here. It's a little bit different. Um, but if your child is here and starting to understand the game now at a young age, the rest is going to be pretty easy. Yeah, <laughs> They're going to understand great. early. You know, so and now the physical standpoint, it, that's a no brainer. Yeah. We know that you're just going to be bigger, faster, stronger another year. You know, and going into traditionally, if you're going in after 13, U, 12, U, going into high school, um, you're going to be playing against 14 and 15 year old kids. That's a disadvantage. Waiting that extra year, going in as a freshman, being a 15 year old, maybe even sometimes turning 16 during the season. Yeah. I mean, and to be honest with you, that's a big deal. Um, a lot of our kids here don't go off and play JV football, right? That mm-hmm. whole back year really prepares them to go out and play varsity, play varsity football. football baby. And that's really what our, our kids are here for, right? 100%. Um, some of our kids have gone the JV route at a Trinity-like type school, and they're in the JV program working their way up because yeah. it's in the talent. And there's is, nothing wrong with that. Talent you know? is a big-time program, is though. Um, exactly. But at the same time, our kids are trying to get out of varsity football field, get that highlight, get their film, and get out to the next level. So that's where we're trying to prepare them. Mm-hmm. Well, again, let's recap. Maturity levels. Mm-hmm. Bigger, faster, stronger as far as physicality, understanding the game when it comes to the portal and D1, uh, um, trying to get to that D1 level, understanding the portal, understanding the game, understanding what's going on today when it comes to recruitment, mindset of a child, making sure his, his mindset is up to par. And keeping them home is not that bad of a deal. So with that being said, man, I'm Coach Martinez. Coach, Coach Reyes. Reyes. Let's get it, baby. 2024, we out. <laughs>